I saw this pop up too. That's what I was trying to find on the page, but I couldn't find. John Morant's latest jaw-dropping investigation at girls' high school volleyball game revealed. I saw this, I think, I think it was TMZ. That's what it was. I was wasting my time on raps. New information just came out that embattled uh, Memphis Grizzlies superstar point guard John Morant was investigated by cops last fall for assaulting after getting in a fight at his sister's high school volleyball game. According to the police report obtained by TMZ Sports, Morant and his associates showed up to a high school girls volleyball game after his sister, Jamie Morant, that's fire, and another student got into an argument in which they called each other a B word. Upon arriving at the Houston High School in Germantown, Tennessee, Morant and company went up in the bleachers and confronted the teenager when cops on the scene tried to calm down the situation. One of the men with John Morant sl slipped past them and charged towards students, uh, slapping a phone out the hand of a student who was taking a picture of the situation. That shit would have been me. I would have been there with my phone in high school, like, oh shit, you don't want that. Crazy, and this is also a whole bunch of high schoolers, like crazy, bro. You're 23 years old now, you considered a man, and don't forget that, yeah, you're still super young. You look like you're not that much older than the 18. I get it, like, you're not that far off, but when it comes to legal laws, and it comes to your money, and it comes to them suing, oh, bro. That's worse than you punching a parent. You punch one of those kids? Oh my God. I don't care about none of that, Morant's friend, who is uh, presumably an adult, yelled, that's what they're saying. You see, adult. Yeah, that's going to definitely be in the article. He's probably like 22, 21. At a child, I will beat y'all. I can't even say that word anymore. I heard I heard they're going to stop being lighter on it, but that was a meme, so let's really see if that happens. But they always be hitting me for that word, which is crazy. Additionally, one witness claimed that the man who about to pull out a gun was... Uh, about that wasn't corroborated by the cops or any other witness, even though... So wait, hold on. Somebody tried to say, a witness tried to say that one of his boys were going to put out a gun, but that wasn't corroborated by the report or by any of the cops. Again, they're going to just try to make anything sound worse to John Moran. Even though the sneered down, everybody was able to leave the gym relatively unscathered. The mother of the student who originally fought with Jamie Moran sought to press charges against Ja. I told you guys. Yo, I told you guys, bro. Look, Ja E-T-A-L. Oh my God. I told you. That's the one that fought his sister for intimidation and harassment. Ja Moran was investigated for simple assault and intimidation, but no charges were filed. Come on, bro. I told you guys. You have to understand your position. Any fight, anything you get into like that, they're going to find their way to sue you. They're going to find a way to press charges. They're trying to get money out of the situation. That's for sure. And you got to understand right now, you're a cash cow. They're looking at you, bro, like you're the future of the league. Everyone knows John Morant. Even if you don't know basketball, you're getting to that point that your name is becoming bigger than the game. But as Fat Joe just said in the last one, for most players getting investigated for assault after, uh, after fighting two separate students at a high school game, volleyball, which would be a career standing incident for Morant, is just another day in addition to the fight. It's just another day because the media trying to say this boy's been wilding out so much for him. It's just another day, bro. They don't even care about it tomorrow because he does some other shit that makes us forget about what he just did. Morant was also allegedly beat up and brandished, uh, brandished a gun at a 17 year old during a pickup basketball game last summer and threatened a mall cop. Currently, Morant Morant is away from the Grizzlies, indefinitely uh, away from the Grizzlies after he posted an Instagram live with him floating a gun at a strip club in Denver. The police in Colorado investigated Morant in the strip club antics, but ruled that there wasn't sufficient enough evidence to bring up charges. John Morant, one thing you have to understand is that you have to fight for your position now. Now, when you do come back to the league, everyone's going to be looking at you at a different light. We were looking at you as the Again, the bright star, the future of the NBA to now, are they going to start saying that you're problematic? Now, anything you do is going to be like Jimmy Butler. That was another dude I forgot. Jimmy Butler was another one that the media just tried to get up in his ass. But he just, I think he just learned to just be quiet with Miami or just got happy with Miami. I don't know what he changed, but they just got off his back. And he went back to just bust their ass in Miami and just going all about the game again. But there was a time, bro, with like Timberwolves, Philly, they were just on Jimmy Butler's neck. And he wasn't doing half of this shit. John Morant allegedly flashed a gun at a teen after a pickup game fight. This is just a little quick refresh since this is all popping up again. And I didn't make a video about this in the past, but TMZ brought this up. Let's see if this is a new article or old one. Oh, this is actually a new one. This is March 1st. But this happened a minute ago, bro. Broke the story. You see, look, TMZ, store, TMZ Sports broke the story in January. I remember a couple months ago reading about this. But at the time, nobody cared. Like, the story didn't hit. Now that all this is just flooding, hitting the media, everybody... Now everyone cares about it. But let's go back and make a little, uh, quick little revisit. Now troubling allegations surrounding the alleged pickup basketball brawl between Ja, 
Morant and a teenage boy in July with the young Hooper claiming the Memphis Grizzlies superstar flashed a gun at him during the altercation. TMZ Sports broke the story in January. Morant is accused of punching a 17-year-old boy after getting in an argument during a game at John Morant's resident in Tennessee, which resulted in a lawsuit. So imagine you invite somebody to your crib or whoever brought him through to play basketball. We're all playing pickup games. And you shouldn't even be playing pickup like that because in case if you get injured. But again, we're playing in my estate. We're playing in my crib. And a fight happens, and now I got to deal with a lawsuit. Like, that shit would have got me sick, bro. That's, that that would have ended everybody coming to my crib to play ball. According to the docs, the boy claimed that he accidentally hit Ja in the face after throwing the ball in his direction. And the all-star guard um, retaliated by hitting him with a closed fist and knocking him to the ground. Accidentally hitting him in the face. I bet accidentally. They were probably in an argument. He threw that shit, hit him in the face. Ja came. <clears throat> he fell. Oh, Lord. Fell back. As soon as he fell back into that ground, allegedly, this is all allegedly because I was not there. I'm just thinking of what could have happened. He's on that ground like, oh, I'm going to sue this nigga. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Wait till my parents hear about this. The Washington Post reported, and again, the kid is 17 years old, so he's still considered a minor. The Washington Post reported Wednesday that not only did the teen accuse Morant of punching him at least 12 times, resulting in a large knot on his head, but the 23-year-old also went into his house, retained, uh, returned with a gun on his waistband and his hand on the weapon. The boy told the Detectives, Jaws dad, T, then yelled at him, telling him to go back inside. When Morant was questioned about the incident, police mentioned the boy claims of exposing a weapon but did not explicitly ask if he had a gun. The outlet, that they, there you go, that ruined on there, that, that was bad on their investigation, on their report, so that's good for Morant. The outlet notes Morant and his attorney did not deny the claim. As for the altercation, Morant told detectives he did, in fact, hit the teen but claimed it was out of self-defense as he was hitting the face with the ball oh he was hit with the ball in his eye the ball was the first uh the ball was the first suing to me uh previously reported moran filed a police report of his own few weeks later claiming the teen threatened to come back light up his place like fireworks he then feared for his safety which is smart if you're gonna start doing police reports like oh word and you're gonna try to sue me we'll see about that nigga police investigated the altercation for several weeks but then submitted the case to the district attorney of office october 4th Less than a month later, the cops said the DA denied uh, pursuing, citing a lack of evidence. But now, magically, everyone's revisiting. The thing with John Morant is you have to understand the position that you're in. If I could look at all this, it's just you have to understand the position that you're in. A fight with a 17-year-old should have just stayed on there. And if you did really go back inside to get a gun, it's like, why? You were going to up it on him and let it go and shoot him on your property over a fight? Come on, it doesn't make the most sense. Even if it is self-defense, you would you should have known that TMZ was going to pick this up. You should have known that you were putting yourself in a position to get sued. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with all that money that you're getting and those contracts and those skills that you have. Go back to Uncle Ben. I don't want to be that guy, but go back to Uncle Ben, bro. Great power comes with a lot of responsibility. Yes, it's fun to have a lot of money. Yes, it's fun to be chilling with all the rappers and chilling with your idols and all that. But with all that money comes a lot of responsibility. And it's like you're trying to trick yourself out of where you've worked so hard to get yourself to. John Morant accused of threatening mall security in Memphis punching teenage boy last summer. No arrests were made in either incident, though the teenage, uh, the teen's family has filed, uh, filed a lawsuit. So we're not going to really talk about the teenage boy because we just read the whole thing on TMZ. But... There was also a situation with a mall security guard that we keep hearing about. So I want to give you guys information on this because you guys have been hearing about that repeatedly everywhere. And it looks like it was he got in an argument or something with the mall security. Let's see exactly what happened. All-star guard John Moran has been accused of threatening the head of security at Memphis Mall last summer per a police report obtained by the Washington Post. And the Washington Post has been on his ass. In the report, the security guard said Moran made threatening remarks while a person with the Grizzlies guard shoved the director. Uh, the altercation started after Moran's mother had a dispute with an employee at a finish line store within the mall, which led to her, call her uh, calling her son. Upon arrival, Moran... And the people that came with him told uh, were told to leave by the head of security, and they refused, from, uh, prompting police to arrive. A verbal conf confrontation transpired, and then a member of Morant's group pushed the security guard in the head. According to the police report, Morant then said, let me find out what time he gets off, which made the guard want to file a report as he felt threatened. I was going to say that. As soon as Morant would have started saying anything that could be considered as a threat, you know that's exactly what he's going to go with. Also, I'm sure that... When his boy shoved his neck, he's like, yo, he shoved me so hard, bro. I couldn't work for six months because I snapped something in my back the way that my neck snapped back. Oh, you know he's about to get paid. No arrests were made at the incident. Uh, four days after the incident at the mall, Morant was accused of punching a 17-year-old boy. Wow, so he was on fire this week. He was on fire this week. This just ties back with everything that he's just bugging out, bro. You're tricking yourself out of your own situation. 
why deal with all this when you're blessed? And again, you made a team like Memphis Grizzlies. I'm not going to talk bad about them. They've been good for a while. They even had uh, the, Gas the Gasol brother. Like, yo, I get it. They've, they've been a good team, but they've never been this good. They've never been this good. I can't say never before I start getting crazy Memphis fans in my DMs. I'm just saying, bro, this team is really looking like the, like the future. I'm obsessed with the Memphis Grizzlies right now. Like, and this is what John Morant is up to instead of just really getting ready for the playoffs.